Alrighty, traders. Alrighty, alrighty. I think we are on air. We are fantastic, fantastic. Um, for you guys that are watching the replay, if you guys are wondering what I do, this is actually a live streaming uh, session that I'm doing. So whenever if I spend like an extra, spend the first thirty seconds or so setting up, making sure everything's set up properly, then that's basically what what it's all about. So live stream. So. Um, so that's basically the reason why um, I do what I do. So anyway, um, I want to give you today in today's session, I want to be walking you through. I want to be walking you through what's been going on right now um, in the markets, but also understand how to actually read the charts or understand what the charts are saying. And I'm going to teach you a pretty cool and pretty awesome uh, technique in today's session of how to read what the market is telling you and how to know whether we're, we're likely to make a move in a direction and what sort of setup um, of what to follow here. So let me bring this up first before I get started. All right, cool. Here we go, guys. Guys, do not place a trade based on what you see in this session because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There's no guarantees of making money in the markets. And you know that it takes you a long time to become a really good trader. Also, guys, if you haven't grabbed your free trial yet, make sure you do that. You can get the three bonuses. I'm giving away three massive bonuses, well, to actually six massive bonuses and a free trial to the Master Trader Lab. So go to mastertraderlab.com right now to get that. I'm running a bit of a special offer right now. So head on down there and grab your free trial. Um, and some people say to me, like, well, you know, um, some people have asked me about the Master Trader Lab. Um, I'm doing a bit of a discount right now. So if you join the Master Trader Lab, which every single month um, I'm sharing with you strategies and content and, and approaches and mindset and so on and so forth, every single month I'm delivering content just like the ones you see here. That's what the Master Trader Lab is all about. It's every single month I'm, I'm, re I'm doing a detailed education um, helping you understand all the areas, the chart reading, the frameworks, the mindset of a successful trader, and so on and so forth. So that's basically what the Master Trader Lab is all about. Um, and then every now and then I do some live um, a live live streams as well too for them, like personal live streams for the Master Trader Lab members. Um, and it's like, like a live coaching session. So that's basically what the Master Trader Lab is all about. Plus I'm also giving away those bonuses to help you get started. Now, with that being said, guys, let's get straight into today's session. And I want to share with you something that happened today when the market was trading here in a trade that I took uh, recently, a trade that I took today. And I wanted to share with you one of the things that I really like to see and how to understand what these markets are saying and, and certain times what the market is telling you. Now, the thing is, guys, is this, okay? The thing is this, is that if you, when you're looking at the market, okay, we're looking at the the S and P 500 right now, and I was watching this, and I was watching the market, and I was actually watching the uh, the shorter time frame charts, such as the five minute charts, you know, and such as the uh, such as the two minute charts, and so on and so forth. And I was watching them today as the market was the last couple of hours of the market, and I was watching this, and it was really, really, really interesting to see. Um, again, I had a trade today. Um, I haven't had a trade in a while, so today was actually the very first trade I've had all year, personally. Um, now that's actually not long. That's only, yeah. So the thing is, is that I want to share with you the, the, the thing that really, really, really stands out with, and the psychology of the market and how the market moves. So when we're looking at the markets, okay, when we're looking at the markets, you've got to think of markets as no one's in control or someone's in control. No one's in control, someone's in control. Now, what does that mean? That simply means that if I if I bring up my screen here, right? Let me bring up my good old Snagit tool here. And if I bring up my screen here right now on the five minute chart, you know what? Actually, you know what? Let me do this here. Let me bring up. I'll bring up the chart that I actually took a trade on today with. So this is the two minute chart, okay? And one thing that's so important to understand is this: is that that's that the market is always telling you that no one's in control or someone's in control. No one's in control. Someone's in control. Now, when we're looking at the bar analysis, is if I do a little snugger thing here as well, if you're looking at the bar analysis, do you see how you've got this period through here, okay? You've got this period through here of small bars. See all those small little bars? And there's no there's no real, no real true strong direction out of the markets, right? It's not going up strong. It's not going down strong. It's sort of just going sideways. And then you've got this period through here. See this period through here, how the market had a pullback through here, but it had all these small bars through here. 
Now, the thing is, is that when you're looking at the markets, if the market is going sideways and it's giving you small bar, small bar, small bar, small bar, small bar, small bar, that's simply, this here to me means no one is in control at that time. Now, we're talking about the bars here, okay? I'm talking about like, talk about like a chart reading technique that, that I use when trading. This here, when it, the small bar simply means there's no one in control at that time, right? Because we're not getting a strong move up and we're not getting a strong move down. So when we're looking at the markets there, I always want to be trading when, when there's someone in control. So as you can see here, right, when there's no one in control here, I didn't want to become part of that. But look what happened here, right? We had a nice big breakout bar and this breakout bar was up here. Now, as you can see, right, if you look at the psychology of what the market is doing, if you look at the psychology of what the market is doing, you have small bars equals no one in control. And then if you have a large breakout bar, now I'm not going to get into, it's. there's not every single large breakout bar after some small bars that I take. I need to have, I need to make sure that the bar is big enough. I need to, need to make sure that the bar's not too big. I need to make sure that we're trading with the trend and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of things that I look at as well too when, when trading this. But this was the two minute chart on the S&P 500. Now the thing is this guys, as I said before, is that when the market is going sideways and it's very, very quiet and we've got small bars, that's no one in control. Then when we get a nice breakout bar, that is someone in control. So someone in control. So we're getting a nice breakout bar. And as you can see, this is exactly what actually happened. And you can see how this market was nicely stair stepping up but with small bars. So if I take that up the screen now and bring you back to this situation here on this chart, remember when there's small bars, there's no one really in control, right? And as you can see here, right, if I bring it back to the actual uh, entry, the actual entry bar for me, this was my entry bar that for me, well, personally what I, what I got into today. So as you can see, right, the first thing that I looked out for was, was I trading with, with the trend? And the answer was yes, right? We had a low, all right? We had a low here, we had a higher low, and we had a higher low, okay? So that was the first thing that I looked at here. The second thing I looked out, second thing that I look at is that, have we got a period when there's got, have we had a, a, a period of sideways movement with small bars? Um, and the answer is yes, right? Period of small bars. Now, I, I need to make sure that, uh, you, you, Guys, I'm I'm delivering to you basics of what, what I look for in a trading setup, but you need to know the exact rules. It's not every single small bars going sideways and breakout bar that I take, okay? Because not every single one of them qualified, but this qualified to be enough time for me and this qualified to be um, a really nice setup. So you can see all these small little bars. Look at all these, especially here. Right? Look at all that small little bars going for the pullback. And then we had this strong breakout bar. Now, I want you to realize this one thing here. Notice how... Notice how that all through here, we really didn't get any big strong breakout bar, right? It was just sort of up. It was sideways through here. We got up. We got sideways through here. No big strong breakout bar. We got up. We got all these small bars pulling back through here. And then suddenly, wham, what did we get here? A strong breakout bar. That's saying that, hang on a minute, just beforehand, there was no one really in control. There's nothing much happening. And then bam, breakaway bar, big bar, nice big breakaway bar. That's saying that the buyers are now getting very eager right now for whatever reason. Okay, for whatever reason. And then as you can see, right, that this thing absolutely just took off like, like a rocket. And I managed my stop and blah, blah, blah. So um, it was a very, very quick trade for me. But I wanted to share that with you guys is that when you're looking at the markets, and this is one of the things, this is the one of the, the, the you think about the bars. And, and so I look at the overall market, right? Stair stepping, where's the trend? And then I'm looking at the market as, okay, if we've got small bars, a collective of small bars, that means there's not really much happening. There's, there's no one in control. So I don't want to become part of that. But if I get a breakout bar, a nice good breakaway bar, then that tells me someone's in control um, and that's when I want to be trading, right? The highest probability of trades is when there's when 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 I have when there's momentum in the markets. As you can see here, right, like throughout this entire phase through here, there was no one in control. No one in control. It was just sideways up, sideways. There was no one in control. And so from that process, 
from that process, if you're trading when there's no one in control, now there's two types of no one in control, okay? Um, there is the bar analysis and then there's the trend analysis. So trend analysis would be no one in control. So uptrend, someone in control. Downtrend, someone in control. Sideways, no one in control, okay? Now that's looking at the actual trend analysis when, the, when there's no one in control. Then when you're looking at the bar analysis and you're collecting, you're putting it all together, not just one bar, you could say, okay, here, no one in control, small bars large breakaway bar, someone in control, momentum is starting to pick up. And so therefore that for me personally is the most highest probability try, highest probability time to trade when um, when momentum is starting to pick up from the markets. When I'm saying, okay, when it's been very, very quiet for a while and I get a nice breakaway bar, that for me is a sign to look for a look for an entry. Now, not every single one of those because it may it may not have enough time. You might be trading against the weekly trend and all that sort of stuff. So I look at all those things as well too. But that's what I want you to realize when you're when 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 you're reading the market and when you're looking at the market. Okay, it's understanding this one. This is one of the most powerful things you can do when trying to understand how to actually read the charts, what the charts are saying to you. And when you're looking at this here, once again, if you have a collection of small bars, that means there's no one in control. You don't want to become part of that, right? Because, because it's, it's just quiet, right? For me personally, a high probability trade is when we have momentum in the markets, right? Small bars equals no momentum. Small bars simply means that there's nothing going on right now. A breakaway bar, after the small bars, oh, now momentum's starting to pick up. I want to be on that train because momentum, the, the market's saying we're now starting to move. And now we actually start, and then, we, and then we actually went for a nice run to the upside and then we dropped back down. Regardless of what the news was for this, it didn't bother me because I don't really care because everything comes from the charts anyway. All I cared about was that this actually met my rules and I was happy to happy to take it today now the thing is guys as i said before is that do not go out there and I, I must make this clear there are so many more there's so many rules that i applied to this to to this small bars large bar i'm teaching you right now that you don't want to be just going out there and doing everything like that okay i i need, I need to make sure that i'm not trading against that you know the the higher time frame trend i need to make sure that i have enough time i need to make sure that the bar is not too big and all these different things right that qualify a high quality setup for me and as you can see, this one here um, was actually not a long term long term trade. It was actually ran up, and then and then I think I got stopped out somewhere around about here somewhere. So it was actually quite a short term trade. So I think I made roughly close to one hundred and fifty percent return on risk, uh, roughly on this one here. So if I was risking five grand, I made roughly seven and a half grand, and so on and so forth. If you're looking at that, so as I said before, guys, like I don't, I personally don't trade a lot in the markets. I personally don't trade a lot in the markets, but I trade high quality setups. And I risk a fair bit on those. Um, so as I said before, if I if I risk if I had ten thousand dollar risk on that trade, that's probably roughly around say fourteen to fifteen thousand dollars. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I risk on there, but it was a nice profit for me. If I only had a couple of those a month, then I'm good to go. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about trading smarter, not harder. So um, and once again, guys, um, I did get um, if you like this sort of stuff, then make sure you go down and join that that master trader lab. Because every single month I'd release content like this in a in, in a private members area. That's what the Master Trader Lab uh, at mastertraderlab.com. That's what that's what they're for. A lot of people are being confused about what's the Master Trader Lab about and and all that sort of stuff. That's what it's about. It's about teaching you every single month. I release a brand new training on one topic. It might be understanding about the cycles of the markets. It might be understanding chart reading techniques. It might be understanding a lot of other different things there. So. That's what the Master Trader Lab is all about. Plus, I'm giving away all those free bonuses as well too. So I hope that that clears up a lot of the confusion about what the Master Trader Lab is all about, and so on and so forth. So, and I'm and I'm actually about to take down those bonuses and 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 put the put the price back up to where it normally was. So, if you guys want to get in, then make sure you go 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 get that right now. With that being said, guys, that's what I wanted to share with you today in the market or in this here. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat box right now, and I'll be happy to go through them to help you out. Let me go through. All right, let me go. All 
All right, so let me uh, let me go through all these. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of <laughs> seeing a lot of people questions. <laughs> um, hi, John. Gold short. Uh, James. <laughs> James, um, if your plan says so, not because I say so. Um, yeah, that's the answer to that. Uh, the bounce keeps surprising me, but it seems like the last hunch today. It may be. It may be. We might have a lot more upside to come. I don't know. Um, I think it goes through the moving average only to collapse afterwards. Or I, I, Yeah, to, again, I don't know what's going to happen. This is the short term. Look back at the hourly chart right now. Um, this is what the hourly chart looked like. So the hourly chart actually didn't look like much. This is the 15-minute chart. And you can see the 15 minute chart would have been a bad time, would have been a bad entry to get in on there. Um, and the 15 minute chart was just a bad, yeah, you wouldn't have wanted to trade that. Um, and then the five minute chart, that's what the five minute chart looked like. Um, so yeah, guys, again, I, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen in the markets. We could just go off. We just need to follow along with that. Okay. We just need to follow along with that. Um, so let me go through here. Um, this bounced really hard. All right, drag race. Um, market manipulation, everything overvalued. Uh, the thing is this uh, real, is that who cares if the market's manipulated or not? Who cares? The thing is that the market is always gonna be delivering formations, right? It's always gonna be telling us what's going on right now, buyers, sellers, who's in control and so on and so forth. So. Who cares about it, the market manipulation? Your job is to become really good at trading the market because the market is always telling us what's going on right now. It doesn't mean we it doesn't mean that the market the market's going to tell us what's going to happen. No, that's why it's called a probability and everything. Um, one of the biggest things that stops traders from moving forward in the markets is that thing like, well, the the, the market's definitely not going to do that. It's like, no, it's not. That's why you have a win loss ratio in a trading system. The thing that when, when when certain things happen. So, um, ten years of expansion, yeah. Yeah, you know, it could go through another year if it wanted to. Almost four weeks of a bounce and still jumping. Yeah. The thing is this, is that this, this is, guys, like, it's like you got to remove any expectation from the markets. When I do my analysis, okay, what's going on right now? What do I see right now? What's the bigger picture? And then, then let me let me form my view. Guys, don't say, well, this market must do this or this just, this I, this system should do this or this whatever you know the market's going to crash so i'm going to buy natural gas stocks and i'm going to do this and do that it's like no the market must do what it's going to do and i guarantee you every time you think that the market's going to do something there's always does the exact opposite that's why when i trade like i did today i trade based on a trading plan not because i think or hope or fear not no i've only had one trade this month i say one trade this year and it's been a very very nice profitable trade for me i don't trade a lot throughout the entire year but i have a very very high win loss ratio um uh let's go through here why would you say on the s p 500 daily chart that the sellers are still in control uh because they are um sitch because if you look at the chart right what constitutes a downtrend say it with me lower lows and lower highs so if the, like here right if the market's going up making higher lows all the way up well then we have buyers in control if the market suddenly changes at mine we have lower highs, lower highs. This still could be another lower high through here. We have a low, we have a lower low. So right now the market is still sellers in control. Now remember, just because the sellers in control doesn't mean we're not going to get pullbacks in the markets. That is normal. It's called a bear market rally. It's called a pullback. Yes, it is called a pullback because a pullback, the definition of pullback is against the underlying trend. If the market's going making stair steps up, guess what? This is a pullback, that's a pullback, that's a pullback, that's a pullback, that's a pullback. This is a pullback, this is a pullback because the market went from an uptrend to a downtrend. <laughs> Look at all my drawing on there. <laughs> Love it. Um, so yeah, so bar. Okay, but confusing. Damien, why would I want to trade this because the breakout only lasted 15 minutes and then pulled back 50%? So Damien, one of the biggest things that's gonna that's that, that I see there, okay, um, I see from what you're saying there. For me personally, I don't care about, I only trade when the market tells me to trade. So for example, if I'm trading a two minute chart, that trade could only last 10, 15 minutes, maybe half an hour. I understand that. If I'm looking for, if I have a, if I have a setup on a daily chart, 
then I understand that it could last two, three, four days, maybe, maybe a couple, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe a couple of weeks. You know what I mean? So it, it, it depends on what the time frame my system appears. So I try that system I look for on every single mark and every single time frame. If it's on a weekly chart, then I could expect that if it does run on, I could get a couple of months out of that thing. So it's relevant to that. What you want to do is you never want to say, well, why would, why would I just get into that and get out of that? Well, what if you had $20,000 risk on that thing and then you, and, and, and you, and you generated around $30,000 in profit? See, one thing that stops traders from moving forward in a big way is that they always want to jump on these things that make massive profits really, really quickly. Um, that's the wrong way to look at it. I don't tell the market what to do. The market tells me when it's a good time to get in and when it's a good time to get out. So if that means if I get in today on a two minute chart and the thing lasts for, the thing only lasts my five minutes. In, out, guess what? I made profit, I made money, I stuck to my plan, I made a nice profit. Thank you very much for your homemade biscuits. I'm on to the next one. And the next one might take another, another couple of weeks to form. Guess what? The next 12 months, I'm gonna whip most traders butt because that's how I trade. I'm so patient and disciplined and I'm taking these nice profits. So it's not about the, it's not about, you know, sometimes you're going to capture big, massive moves and sometimes the move's not going to last long. All you need to worry about is that I'm getting in now because my plan says so and I'm getting out when the market says it's now slowing down. I.e., I'm getting in when momentum's picking up and then I'm getting out when momentum's slowing down. I don't tell the market what to do. The mar I, I, stay in a, I stay in as long as there's momentum in the market. That's such a critical thing, guys. It's so, so, so critical to understand that is that you've got to remove any expectations from the market. You've got to say, okay, I'm in, the, I'm in this trade right now because my plan says so. And this is what I'm going to do to make sure once I'm in a profit, I'm going to protect my profit. And then I'm just going to, and if the market does pull up, it does market does pull down, at least I got out of that trade for a nice profit. Most people are trying to capture the big moves and get in here and, and all that sort of stuff. And it's, it's just ruining your chances of doing well in the market. Um, it's a setup bear market last move these two days down 20%. Um, maybe, maybe not. Just, just follow the market. Don't have any expectation of what the market's going to do. Like you can read what the market is telling you right now and we're getting a nice rally, but the long-term charts and where the, where, where the, the, uh, the, um, the trend hasn't really changed at all in this one here. So don't put your own expectations, guys. Your expectations is cr is crushing you because you, then you're creating some sort of story why something should happen, and then you're trading based on that story why something should happen, and then bam, guess what? Then it, then it just yeah you know, then it just changes from there. Makes sense. So um, yeah, twelve to eighteen months for a bear. It may, you know, this actually could then race up to brand new highs. We don't know. For me, guys, and as you can see, for me, guys, trading is all about. Probability. I'm only willing to get into the market once my plan is met. And guess what? I know 90 plus percent of the time I get into the market, I'm going to generate a nice profit just like I did today. I don't trade a lot, but I trade high quality. That gives me the confidence instead of me putting on $100 per trade like most traders do, or even $1,000 per trade. No, I start to hit it. 5, 10, 15, 20 grand. And I start to whack it with a bit more risk because I know high probability setups. And before you know it, I don't need a lot of trades throughout the entire year to do really, really, really well for myself. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Let's go through here. John, how would I know if I should have traded this that breakout? It happened so quickly and then most of the gains were lost very quickly. I would have felt like I was chasing. The thing is, Damien, first, you need to know the exact rules. I'm not telling you you should get into that. I'm not telling you you should trade that. Um, what you need to understand is that 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 was based on my trading rules. What today, what what I'm teaching you today is understanding how the markets work. When you have small bars, no one in control. Large bars as a, as a breakout bar. But I have I have a complete step by step checklist that I make sure that I'm getting in on a good trade. Secondly, Damien, is that all it takes is that this plant your ass on the ground and then when I'm uh, and, and watch the markets and when I'm seeing that I'm getting I'm getting a setup without the breakout bar, well I'm watching it. It's called just watching the market, being patient. And as the market started the breakout today, I was on, I was I was on I was on the computer and I was watching it and I saw the breakout and it was confirming exactly what I was looking at. So the thing is, this guys is that for me, it's that most people say like you know um, it happened so quickly at two minutes. Like if you look at this chart here, guys, it didn't happen quickly at all. 
right? Look at this here. Like for two hours, this thing, you know, yeah, for roughly two hours, this thing was going sideways. That was the that was the clue for me amongst all the other rules. Okay, do not get into a trade based on what you just seen today because you don't know the trading rules. I have a step by step trading rules. What I'm teaching you today, guys, is a simple understanding of when there's small bars, there's no one in control. When there's a large bar, there's someone in control. Um, but all it takes, guys, is that if you're trading the small time frame charts, you're gonna plant your ass on the chair and then watch the chart. That's your job. If I'm trading that. Like like today when I was trading the, when I was trading the charts, I was watching this, and then I'm looking for the setups and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, it's called doing your job. <laughs> if you want to trade a smaller time frame chart or you want to trade these intraday charts, then your job is to watch the intraday charts. Um, but you only want to get in on a trade, guys, based on a plan. As I said before, guys, like this met my plan today. This is my first trade for the entire year. I hope that makes sense for you guys. Um, graphics don't decide market moves, economics do. Uh, I wouldn't say that, Andy. I wouldn't say that at all. Okay, then. Well, let me ask you a question. How did the economics look at the at uh, late 2007? Pretty good, right? They looked amazing. Unemployment was amazing. The economy was booming. And then we went through a recession. How did the economics look in... Uh, early 2009, pretty shit, right? <laughs> oh crap, I just swore. <laughs> Google don't penalize me, right? Pretty crap, right? So no, you got to look outside the box, my friend, outside the box. Apparently the, the fundamentals, the economics have looked pretty good, you know, this entire year. Why is the market sold off for? Mm, something to think about. Um, so yeah, so, you know, the thing is this guys, is that, as I said before, most people right now are getting chewed up big time where I'm sitting back, keeping my powder dry. And when it's time for me to pounce, that's how I pounce. That's how professional traders do it. Um, how do you trade so fast? As I said before, like I'm watching this market. Okay. So at this time, guys, put it this way, when I'm watching this market and I'm seeing this market do this right now. I'm saying, okay, then we could actually get something here, all right? And then I'm going through my checklist. You know, I'm seeing something set up. This is two minutes, all right? I'm seeing it set up. I'm seeing it set up. You know, yes, it looks pretty quick, but no, like I'm watching this market unfold. All right, no, nothing there, no, nothing there, no, nothing there. And then bam, breakaway bar. So I could be sitting here watching this thing for half an hour, doing my analysis and then pretty, pretty much exactly what I did. It's like, okay, cool. If we get a nice breakaway bar here, that's going to be a nice trade. And then away it went. So it's all about being prepared. Preparation meets opportunity. And I was prepared. That's all. Um, against the algos. Uh, you don't you don't you don't need to know what the algos are doing to do well in the markets. You just gotta be prepared. That's all this guy. Firstly, you gotta know exactly what you're looking for because your head is so spinned around by trying to focus on what other people are doing. You don't, you don't know exactly what you're looking for. And secondly, you don't even know what to look for in a setup. So I, I know exactly when a setup is setting up before my entry bar. So I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm looking and looking for my setup first. And then I was like, okay, cool. If we do get the big breakaway bar, then I'm ready for it. And as this breakaway bar formed, it's okay, cool. This is what I was waiting for this. Now it doesn't always form. I'd say probably, Eight times out of 10, I might get a setup and the bar doesn't fall. My entry bar. Um, let's go through here, guys. Um, I can't buy and sell so fast at my bank system. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm a trader. If you're trading the markets, then you need to be able to be something to get in and get out pretty quickly. Uh, Rahul, that's actually, guys, please, please listen to me here, okay? Please listen. You said, Jesse, good point. Pick stocks that you are sure it will move higher. You're not sure it will move higher. Who knows it's going to move higher? No, wrong thing, guys. Please listen to me. You are destroying yourself in the markets by getting in the shit. 
<laughs> there is it in. But get in the stuff that you think is going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. Have a plan. And every single time you trade, trade that plan only. You guys are getting into things because you just think it's a good idea. Well, the market's definitely going to crash. Market may not even crash. Um, so, <laughs> uh, John, did today's action cause you to exit your three month out of the spy puts? Uh, if what would you? Try? Oh, Daniel, I've been out of those spy puts for a while right now, man. Like I, I, I'm not in my, I'm not in my spy puts right now. I'm that, I was out of those a long time ago. Um, <laughs> there's no way I'll be holding on to the way now. When I saw momentum change, I got out of, I got out of it, Daniel. Um, and I got out for a nice profit. What <laughs> I had an I had an exit plan straight away when uh, there was a certain thing when I saw it on the markets. Uh, you know, when I saw momentum changing from downtrend to a shift, I got out of that thing really, really quickly. So I, I haven't been in my puts for a while now, man. Because <laughs> I had a plan, I knew exactly when I should be out when the, when momentum was shifting. So <laughs> yeah, I made a nice profit out of that one. Um, that's exactly what I have been thinking. Everything looks good, but yet. Um, everything is going down. Well, that's exactly right. You know what I mean? So, you know, everything looks really good before the bust. Everything's really, really bad before the boom. Uh, all you need to do is listen to the media. Uh, 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 looks great, short market. If the economy is shit, and goes, the war cast get backwards. Hmm. Um, there is only a downtrend momentum when it is highly upward. Okay. One last question based on what you said of the overall market. Sellers are in control. Are we retesting two, three, four, one? Are we retesting two, three, four, one? What does that mean? I'm not sure what that means. Are we retesting two, three, four, one? Well, oh my God, I can't believe he thinks that. Oh my God. <laughs> Crypto. <laughs> um, can we change the overall trend without a pullback? Can this V shape be a change trend? It can be, yes. Guys, that's what you must expect. Okay, that's what you must expect in the markets. You must not only expect, but accept the fact that things can change. We can go from a downtrend to an uptrend. Just because it is something right now doesn't mean it's gonna it doesn't mean it's not gonna change. Our job is just to flow with what the market is telling us. Um, and so, yeah, so, uh, two, three, four, one. Oh, okay. Then, um, I don't know, Rahul, like I do believe, I do believe based on what I'm seeing here that we're going to see another leg down out of this here. Um, I do, I do believe we're likely to see that coming soon, but you know, who knows, who knows, um, who knows when's that, when that's going to happen. It may be tomorrow. It may be, you know, falling, falling on for for a few few days from now. You know what I mean? So, um, that's basically what, you know, that's basically what you just got to follow along with the markets, guys. Okay. Um, but just remember, guys. Just remember, if you're looking at the market, always, always, always be analyzing what the market is doing right now. And who's in control? If we if we if we're still making lower highs, that means the sellers are in control. Just because we get a big strong rally up doesn't mean the market has changed. What do you trade? Commodities or what? I trade everything because I have one system that I I trade everything. I trade one minute gold, two minute gold, five minute gold, cryptos, uh, forex, um, oil, stocks. Because I have my one system that applies to every market, and I'm, and that's my job there. So. <clears throat> anyway guys that's it for me if you would like guys uh, a lot more training like this one what i'm talking about here every single month and uh and also you like to join some live private coaching sessions that i do from time to time uh every few months or so then uh make sure you do head down down to get that to master trader lab i'm giving away a free trial i actually have one free i have the free training in there already uh, plus i'm also giving away some free bonuses as well too so and if you like it if you like the master trader lab then it's only $6 a month um, to stay a member. I'm giving, doing a bit of a special price right now. So once again, guys, every single month, if you like trainings like this, that's what you got to get at the Master Trader Lab. Plus you get all the bonuses to try it out for free. If you're not happy, let me know and uh, you'll never be billed.
So, um, all right, cool. All right, guys, well, that's it for me today. I hope you have enjoyed today's session. Please, guys, never trade based on what you think over fear. Always trade based on high probability because I'm telling you right now, guys, from now to the end of the year, I just patiently, patiently, patiently wait for wait, wait for my trading setup that meets my rules every single time and I only trade that and I'll trade a quarter of most people in these markets, yet I'm going to whip butt in these markets this year because of that. So um, what system do you use? I use a trading system that based um, – I'm not going to get into the full details here because that's only meant for my private clients. Uh, I have a high private client group that I share my full trading system with. So due to respect, I'm not going to share that entire thing with me. Now, if you do want to apply to my for my private coaching, then send me an email to howtrader at gmail.com. That's H-O-W-E-L-L-trader at gmail.com. Um, howtrader at gmail.com. I'll see if and I'll speak to you on the phone and see if you're a good fit. And then I'll see um, the, the coaching program is closed right now. But if I think you're a good fit, then I'll let you in. So if you are interested in joining and learning my trading system and then having me as a coach there where every single week I'm doing coaching with you, then you could that's, that's for my private clients only. Again, they've paid a lot. They've invested a lot of money. So I, I only I, they know the exact system step by step. But I'm not going to teach it in full detail here due to res out of respect for, for them as well too. So anyway guys that's it for me today have an amazing day and i will see you next time